Hi all, today's recipe is mutton cutlet. Let us see what all we need for making a cutlet. First, I have taken 500 grams of minch, mutton minch. Then a full chopped onion, ginger garlic paste, coriander powder, turmeric powder, chilli powder, pudina leaf, coriander leaf, oil to fry and salt for taste. Okay, let's see how to prepare this recipe. First, heat a pan, add 3 tablespoon of oil. See to it that oil is not too, too hot. Now let's add onion to the oil. And fry them till they turn golden brown. Adjust the flame. See to it you don't overcook the onions. Fry them until they turn golden brown. You can see now the onion is fried. At this stage, let us add ginger garlic paste, one spoon of it. And fry them for two minutes till the raw smell goes up. Now, let us add quarter spoon of turmeric powder. 1 spoon of chilli powder and 1 spoon of coriander powder and salt for taste. Now I have added very less salt and the last you can add some more salt. Now let us roast them for a while. Now let us add chopped coriander to it. leaves of mint. And fry them. You see now it is fried. At this stage I am going to add this mutton kaima. Now mix them nicely. You can see it's well mixed with the ingredients. You should fry this. For 5 to 10 minutes in the same flame. Now add little bit of water to it. Don't add too much water. Add little bit of water. Mix it well. Now you can close and allow it to cook. For about 10 minutes. Now let us see. It's fully cooked. You can see that the mint is fully cooked. absolutely no water in it. Now switch off the flame and allow it to cool completely. Now I have transferred the boiled kaima to the bowl 
and I have taken two boiled potatoes, pepper powder and rice flour. Now I am going to smash these boiled potatoes into the skyma and mix well. Now I have smashed these potatoes. Let me add a little bit of pepper powder. Maybe half a spoon of pepper powder. And this is about 2 tablespoons of rice flour. And let us mix all this together. Now it's completely mixed. Just hold and see it should be in a proper consistency like this. Okay. So now let us start making the shapes. Take a big ball size and first roll it well, little tighter. In this manner and keep it in your palm and press gently not too hard make sure there is no cracks just press it gently see to it you cover all the cracks Now it is in a proper shape. So likewise we will do for the rest of the kemas as well. Now I have made into shapes in the similar way to the rest of the kema balls. Let us light the stove and place a small vessel. You can keep a flat pan or if you have a kadai like this you can place even that. Let us add. 4 spoons of oil now the oil is ready you can drop cutlets into the oil Now it is roasted the side, let us flip it to the other side slowly. This manner. You can see very well it is cooked. And this cutlet I have made without using egg and breadcrumbs. Allow it to fry the other end. For some time now it is cooked the other side also let us wait. put the stove to simmer and slowly take them out one by one now you can see the cutlet is come in a very golden brown manner similar way you can do the rest of the cutlets as well. Now the keema cutlet is ready to serve. You can serve this with sauce or any green chutney. Thanks for watching.